Hello everyone. Hi there. Maybe you have watched my other Orebesh videos. I have made quite a few. For example, one where I learned Orebesh in one week. But now we are going to step it up here at Avela's Orebesh camp and I will make him learn it in one day. Yeah, so if you don't know who this is, this is strike underscore 721. Exactly. I do Star Wars. But he's a very big noob because he doesn't know Orbesh yet. Yes. And he feels very ashamed of this. I very know. ashamed. So we are going to change this and make him learn it. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yes. So if you don't know what is Orbesh, here we have the Orbesh alphabet. Let's just quickly say it is basically just symbols that represent each letter in the English alphabet pretty much. So he doesn't have to learn an actual language in one day. He just has to learn the symbols. Yeah, and luckily I, I'm able to speak English, so yes. that, that helps. Yeah, that does help. But yes, we will put 24 hours on the clock and then we will come back here in 24 hours and see if you can successfully read Orbesh. And start. I will probably start with watching your videos. I think that's a great idea. I mean, I have the biggest pro in Orbesh right here, so might as well get some use out of her videos. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the time's running, so maybe I should uh, go learn Orbesh? Yes, I think so. Okay. <laughs> the time's running. <laughs> I am currently trying to memorize the symbols. And you have 19 hours left. and. Yes, it is for 36. Yes, I'm absolutely stressing. Let's begin our journey. We have composed these kinds of letters before. This is I have. Unlike Atis and Mandala, we can't really stand. More commonly referred to as Galaxy, where we have them as X Wing. It is, in fact, very possible to do so, and it's not even. I can have the power? I've made a video where I'm not so at first I started trying to memorize the Orbish letters and their English letter counterpart with flip letters. And then I went over to actually matching the Orbish letters to the actual letters of the alphabet. And um, yeah, I mean, that was uh, actually went really well already in the beginning. It was that one? No! <laughs> 15 out of 26. Hmm. Not too bad, I guess. Well, I guess let's uh, try again. Definitely better than the first one. All right, again. And I'm done with only three wrong. All right, it's definitely getting better. Definitely big improvement every time. One more time and then we're gonna go to the next one. Ah, DNR. That's mean. That's just mean. I think R was this one. Yes! Okay. Okay, so we minimized it to one false one. K. I don't know why I can't remember K. And I mean, D and R is always like still a bit confusing. But I think overall, at least in inside of this task, I think I'm doing okay. So, uh, yeah. Not too shabby. All right, well, we are going to continue with the next task. As a third step, we went even further and actually started to translate simple stuff. And I started to translate the Orbesh letters to English and did that for a while. That actually worked already pretty well. Oh no. And then I switched it to translating English to Orbesh. And that was uh, a bit harder because you actually uh, need to like really remember the, the symbols, but uh, I managed to do that quite well too. So I got my first sort of intense training session behind me. I'm going to take a little break, but so far I think it's looking pretty good. If I have the symbols in front of me, I can translate words. Not very fast but uh, sort of, and with only small and minor errors, so I think so far it's going pretty good. So we will resume the training in a little bit after a break. What are you doing now? 
And now I'm starting my second um, big run through all the challenges. And uh, hopefully I remember everything still. Now <laughs> uh, then on the second go through, I did the matching the Orbesh letters to the English letters. I did that again. This time like even better, like really consistently got it almost right or right at 100%. Victory! Everything correct. Right, I think uh, we'll go for some translating now. Then switched over, did a few more translations from English to Orbesh. George Lucas. I think I'm ready. Let's go. Hello there. General Kenobi? No. No? I have heard that you want to become an Orbesh Meister. Uh, yes, that, that is correct. I have brought with me a test, and if you can read this, then I believe that you have actually learned <laughs> Orbesh, at least sort of. Alright, well, I'm willing to try. Here is the test. Okay, and I'm supposed to read it out loud. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, hello, I am Strike. Uh, and, oh, uh, the spaces are hard to read. And I do Star Wars. First part, correct. Yes. Okay, then we have Lumpy is... I don't think I want to continue. <laughs> then you will fail the uh, Okay, Lumpy is the <clears throat> best. Do I really have to? Character. Second part. Correct. Lumpy is the best character. Boba. Mm -hmm. Fett. Is. Uh, oh, Boba Fett is second. Okay, that's fair. I did it. Yay. Actually, I would say that was pretty good. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I must also say, I had very good materials provided by a very good teacher, so it was no wonder that I was able to do fairly decent in this short amount of time. So under 24 hours, but he really only practiced for like yeah two and a half hours maybe in total, like actively. Let's say I took a big break right in the beginning when I was supposed to learn. Yeah. And then learn like when I had to. No, but it, it worked pretty good, at least with the tools that um, you provided. It was fairly easy actually and to- And even fun. And say. even fun, yeah. Yes. So I think if I continue this, then I can read this smoothly. Now you just have to keep up yes. the training. So if you also want to learn some Orbesh, then I have a playlist that I've put all the videos with learning Orbesh. And it's right there. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see some videos made by Strike Hood or Star Wars, then you will find the link in the description. <laughs>